Welcome, family and friends, to another segment of Dow's Daily Commute. Dow's, if you recall a little bit, but let me just rehash a little bit if I can. Dow is my middle name, and a lot of my friends and families call me that. And Dow is kind of a Gaelic uh, word, and it means capable. And you know, I'm a, maybe some of you know, some of you don't, I'm an army brat. I've moved around quite a bit, and in every place I've been, I have yet to find someone with the name of Dow. Closest I came was some of you uh, uh, aging myself can remember a show called Leave It to Beaver. One of the characters there, the actor, his actor's name was Tony Dow. His last name was Dow. That's the closest that I've, uh, I've come to that. So again, you as family and friends, I have some little tidbits of information to maybe share with you. Now, some of the resources that I use is, you know, in uh, being part of this industry and making sure that uh, when we say uh, we are here for your life, that we have all the resources available. Financial markets belongs to many, many organizations. And in the environment that we're in right now, we're getting a lot of uh, information from those different uh, organizations, such as NAFA, NELBA, uh, LOMA, LEMRA, Big Eye Organization, Independent Agents Organization, and Gamma. And again, it's kind of a collection of these different things that uh, I've uh, <clears throat> been able to look at and examine over this week, I'm wanting to share with, with you. So uh, in my own style, I've got checklists that I use. So let me kind of go through the, the uh, checklist a little bit. You know, we've been kind of playing defense, all of us, with this information that we've been getting and suffering, as I said, maybe with uh, infobesity. We've kind of been on a defensive side a little bit and trying to gather this information and what to do. I think now, folks, it's time to play, uh, play offense. And I think our, our, uh, our clients are wanting us to, to uh, get in the offensive mode. They're coming to us for information. We are staying connected with them. And they're wanting us in regards to advice and some important matters that are coming up um, in their livelihood. So we're here to uh, reassure them and, and to stay connected uh, with that. That being the case, as you listen to them and be sure to what? Capital L, listen to them. It's okay to have feelings. It's okay for you to have feelings, indeed, and it's okay to just listen and, and listen, uh, understanding their feelings. You know, this month is kind of a, a little bit of a, a up and down month for me. This particular month of, of April, of course, old taxes are due and we know that they're down, down the road, but in this month of April, uh, would have been my my mother's, my mom, I call her mom, my adoptive mom, Doris's 95th birthday. Doris was a, a teacher and always wanted me to, to learn by way of books, so kind of a, a bookworm. Uh, some called me the little professor. I wore glasses when I was early age and that became kind of a, a nickname for, for Dow. My birth mother's birthday, uh, a good friend of mine, Nels Johnson, Nels Johnson passed away. And Nels Johnson was 91 years old. Nels Johnson delivered over 15,000 Meals on Wheels. Through our church, Nels would deliver homemade quilts from the ladies to the people and uh, Meals on Wheels. And he would spend time and listen and talk to the clients. And Nels was in the insurance business for many, many years. And his his model kind of was this. When you think of Nels Johnson, he doesn't want you to think of insurance. But when you think of insurance, then he wants you to think of, of Nels Johnson. And he did many, many things. And again, it was a celebration of, of life for, for Nels Johnson. 95 years old, retired Air Force MP. You think of, I think of a rough, gruff MP, but he, he wasn't. He was just... Just the, uh, just the opposite of that. So let's, let's jump into some information that, again, that I've got from different sources there to, to share with you today here. The one being, of course, we, we hear a lot about the CARES Act, okay? And you've got a lot of clients, I know you've got a lot of clients that this is gonna affect. They, again, is gonna wanna, they wanna come to you for resource. And maybe it's just listening, but listen to them. You know, and this CARES Act may even affect you. 
in regards to the what small business loans out there, the uh, payroll uh, provision that, that's out there, these different facets of this whole thing, besides then thinking of in regards to different things that happen in regards to the RMDs and other uh, items that, that touched us. And if it touches us, then of course it's gonna to touch your clients. And again, you need to, to reach out and, and touch your client in regards to the different facets of the CARES Act and the SECURE Act that, that, uh, that touched your client out there. Of course, there's a number of opportunities in the SECURE Act, but one particular opportunity is that in regards to life insurance. And one of the most direct uses of the life insurance is to help mute then the what income taxes that a non-spouse IRA beneficiary would be, okay? So we're able to then buy the insurance on that in, uh, insured IRA policyholder now to cover the taxes that the uh, non-spousal beneficiary would have to incur there. An opportunity, folks, there to be speaking to your clients in regards to that. Another life event that's on the horizon for all of us, and maybe you'd go through personally. I know I did personally. That adopted mother, Doris, she lived over here in the apartments. I would go over at noon and have lunch with her. And oh, she loved to make me lunches, and roast beef, and you, you name it, she would, she would have it. Then after work, I would go over and then watch Jeopardy with her. I think at a certain age, everyone's got to be watching Jeopardy before they have dinner. Doris was one of those. She, but she went out one day to go to her mailbox. She fell, broke her hip. She went down in the life event of from broken hip to hospital to long-term care facility. It's a life event that's going to touch all of our families. In regards to long-term care planning, there are so many choices now and options that you can give your client in regards to typical long-term care. Typical long-term care, you know, they might be uh, in the partnership qualified plan to help them with Medicaid planning. It maybe can be a lower cost, but there's also been the advent, uh, advent of, of hybrid plans. Using that term, hybrid meaning the a life event of death but also coupled with that, if they need long-term care, then there's benefits there at the, the very same time. So those are options that, that you have available. Now, as I go through these different opportunities, I want to bring home this. We have internal wholesalers that are, you might say, standing by for you to contact them and say, you know, I was listening to Dow's Daily uh, Commute and he had mentioned this. Can you give me some more information in regards to that? Now, I also already covered the SECURE Act and the opportunity of life insurance. Now you're speaking of long-term care, typical long-term care, maybe some of the advantages of that, maybe that being cost, but of course what the premium is not guaranteed. And then we have the hybrid plans in which we can have what? Guaranteed premiums. We can have death benefit and we can have long-term care meaning long, meaning longer than four years or five years, always be almost, and including lifetime coverage. Those are all options. So indeed, and keep that uh, in the back of your mind. If something strikes you here, please contact our entail, un, internal wholesaler. As I speak of these hybrid plans, which I said was a combination of what life insurance over here and a, a living benefit rider, if you will, in the event, the life event of long-term care, okay? You need to sometimes dissect and we'll do a little deep dive in regards to how are they different? Meaning, what's the definition that this company has in regards to the long-term care rider? What's the difference between indemnity and a reimbursement? Which category does, it, does that uh, follow into? Is there any a tax liability? How does it affect the death benefit? All of these different factors are, again, some items where we can do the deep dive with your internal wholesaler in regards to that. So they're all not the same. They may have some different difference, uh, differences, indeed they do. And it's the internal wholesaler, they can help us then uh, help you help your, your clients there. In regards to uh, planning, I spoke of maybe some Medicaid planning 
and we do have a, a company now of the different carriers that we have. Uh, that company is, is Principal. So ask your internal wholesaler about that. Say, tell me more about Principal's income annuity. This is an income annuity that can be Medicaid compliant. Now, of course, it may be in regards to your particular state and it indeed takes usually a, indeed an elder attorney to be involved with this. But folks, we have then the product available to you to help your clients out there in the life event of long-term care, Medicaid planning, in regards to a Medicaid compliant annuity. And that's with the principal. And uh, you want to ask your internal wholesaler about this. With the different acts, the SECURE Act and the CARES Act, we've had what? A pushback of then when our taxes are due. So no, don't have to worry about April 15th, we're into July. That gives the opportunity that you can speak to your clients about then their IRA. They could still contribute to their IRA all the way up to July the 15th. And to have that flexibility that we bring to you so you can help your clients we can go down to $100 a month. We can go into an annuity at $100 a month and still it'll be a qualified IRA. There isn't a lot of carriers out there that'll go down to $100 a month. This, you have that flexibility. That's why they come to you is because you have all of this in your, in your arsenal there. So it's still the IRA season and folks, we can go all the way down to $100 a month. Again, who do you contact? That's right, your internal wholesaler. They're here to, to help you on that. We also have a three-year, a three-year, multi-year guaranteed annuity. You know, again, in this uncertainty, people are looking for certainty. A three-year annuity, two and a quarter. Three-year, multi-year guaranteed annuity, two and a quarter. No reduction in commission. It's at the regular level flexibility that's what we're here to provide you there so I've covered now the annuity side a little bit in regards to the IRA market and the let's call it dormant money it's practically dormant money is the rate that they're getting on CDs now that you could put them in there it's what a guaranteed uh, interest rate there and we're constantly dealing with changes in our, our our environment itself just recently in the state of Pennsylvania no longer can you sell person to person. That's a no-no now in the state of, of, of Pennsylvania. So we're shifting to the uh, the, the, the e-application, if you will, okay, in regards to that. You know, years back in my industry, when I first uh, joined the industry, I was given three books. They started at 10000 25000 and then 100000 And on the outside of it, it said, whole life computer. They called the book a computer. And in the book was the premiums, the cash values, the dividends, everything that, that was needed there, you had right there in what they called then a, a computer. But you didn't took a, a paper application. And then as underwriting involved, you know, they came out with the blood test. You know, Magic Johnson, who came with... Uh, HIV, and he's doing well, Magic Johnson was applying for life insurance. That's how they found that he was, that he had HIV. And boy, when the blood test came back years back, they thought, oh man, that's gonna be quite a, quite a change and everything. Well, now we're ready to, to move into the e-application phase. And our staff keeps up to date. We have here a fluidless accelerated underwriting chart. It gives to us our major companies on what the requirements are, what the ages are, in which they can do fluidless. Quick example, I can have a 45-year-old apply for $3 million, no blood, no paramed needed. Why? Electronics the way that they are, algorithms, LexisNexis, different tools. Again, just like when we went to the blood test and we used that 26 panel the underwriter did there to get what more accurate in the underwriting we're now ready to move to this phase folks of the e-application fluidless accelerated underwriting 
and use electronics to help us to do that very thing there. Who would you contact to get more information at? You got it. The internal wholesaler is who you would contact there. I hope you contact them a lot and then they contact me and they say, Ed, what did you say? I say, you have to watch the video. Then you'll know what I said. Okay. How about just life insurance itself? The use of life insurance. You know, I, I talked about the CARE Act and you to talk to your client. Using those SBA loans, let me tell you folks, there's going to be a lot of paper filling out. And, but it is a lot of it's going to be done electronically. One year after our son was born, so this is over, what, 42 years ago, we lived in, in uh, outside of Des Moines, Iowa, and our home was destroyed by a tornado, completely destroyed. They took, they, the tornado took a van a block away, practically half a block away, lifted that van up, went above the garage, didn't touch the garage, and put it in our back bedroom. It was declared a national disaster area. It, we were qualified for an SBA loan. And I think that the government was there to help me with the SBA loan. But it took a lot of filling out of forms, a lot of uh, P-word patients in regards to that. But I was very, very thankful for that. You have a lot of clients that maybe they're hesitant in applying for whatever section of the CARES Act or SECURE Act that they can take advantage of. They need to be a, uh, need a sounding board. That's you. Listen to them. Encourage them. Maybe you yourself qualify for some of those. I encourage you to, to look at that. When that home was destroyed, <clears throat> you know, you kind of get in a, just a survival mode. Uh, LaDonna's parents came over, took LaDonna and our son Justin back to Nebraska. I was kind of by myself for a while there. Uh, heck, we would have uh, family and friends <clears throat> from the church that we went to. We, we had uh, one Sunday, uh, LaDonna was still there and Justin, we went to church and a farmer brought one of my ties. He said, I found this in a barbed wire fence. I mean, that was folks that was three miles away and they were finding different things, including my, my ties from all over the place. And, and it took that family, that family of our church, community, and our insurance family. We lived in one agent's house while he was on vacation. Over two weeks he was on vacation, said, Ed, here's the keys. Cars in the, in the garage. LaDonna's got a car, you got a car. There you go. You know another thing? I had a whole life policy. Had it for some years. Had a whole life policy, had a living value. The living value was the cash value. I, could call, I called the company and within five days I had that check in my hand. I didn't have to talk to anyone about qualifying for the loan. I didn't have to then uh, sit in a cubicle where everyone could hear me and hear my story and why I needed the loan. It was there. It was a, a living benefit. You know, as you talk to your clients, they're going to have three objections, aren't they, in regards to life insurance or any of the other products that we have. We all deal with three objection, objections all the time. No time, no need, no money. Folks, I think they have the time now. They want to talk to you. Talk to them about some of the needs that, th that they have there. You know, life insurance offers that protection. What? Pennies for dollars, as Ben Feldman would say. The living value, as I give an example of the, the cash values there. Zero can be a hero. How can zero be a hero for life insurance? You know, you could ask that question too. You're in Turtle Wholesaler. They've got an answer for you on how zero can be a hero. And in this time, that can be very important, folks, in, in regards to that. So <clears throat> don't forget the need for, for life insurance. And it can be something like this. You know, grandparents. Grandparents love to do for their grandchildren. I would say even more than for their own children. How about life insurance? How about life insurance? Let the grandparent be the applicant for that. And we can do it how? E-application. 
the ease of an e-application. So indeed, there's many opportunities out there that you, that you have. All you got to do is what show them there. How about a recommended book? I've got a list of books and one book that I would recommend. I bet that maybe it's not on your shelf, okay? It's entitled The Genius of Sitting Bull. The Genius of Sitting Bull. Yes, it's in our backyard here, being in the Black Hills. And the name, uh, the author of that book was Murphy Snell. Murphy Snell, look at the genius of Sitting Bull. The way things are electronically now, it could even be an Audible book right now. But a book I, I highly recommend. How about one of the movies I recommend? I would recommend The Emperor's Club. You know, every one of our staff saw that movie, Emperor's Club. In California, there's a course on it in which the professor then covers different aspects of it. I very much recommend the movie, The Emperor's Club. In our special planning for things that are happening like this, again, I'm not attorney, but I do know of things that, <clears throat> that are out there. And one particular aspect of special planning is this. Ask your clients, or maybe you, do you have a health care power of attorney? Do you have a current HIPAA form where your person that you want can get medical information? Do you have a living will? And do you have a durable power of attorney? And I'm sure you may have a, a, a client, an attorney that can help your people for that. Our son Justin, he's supposed to be getting married. This 2020 was going to be a super year for us. 50 years married with the same woman. Man, I've got patience, let me tell you. 50 year anniversary for their, uh, or their uh, class reunion in high school, going back there to Northeast Nebraska. And our son was getting married in New Jersey. Well, that's now been, been, been canceled. So they're engaged and so kind of spoke to them in regards to, again, this special crisis planning. You were going to be getting married very shortly. That's now not going to happen. If something would happen, and they're in New Jersey, 1,200 deaths. I now would like to shift and then have you watch this, this short video, if you will. It's a, doc <clears throat> a doctor, Kevin Elko. It comes to us from, from Lincoln National. Now, the uh, little tie there of, of this, uh, uh, Kevin is kind of a, a psychological, motivational coach. He is hired by professional NFL teams a lot. His most recent one was the <clears throat> Philadelphia Eagles. Now, Philadelphia Eagles play where? In the Lincoln Financial Stadium. Kind of the, the tie there a little bit, folks, there. But... Uh, over a little over two years ago, he had a life-changing event. I mean, it almost cost him in his life. And he'll maybe share a little bit uh, in regards to that. Also, I can't help but notice is the a size of a ring on his finger. I mean, I could wear it as a watch, I think, folks. It's that, it's that big. It's a Super Bowl ring when the Eagles won the, the Super Bowl. But he gives some a marvelous... Uh, things in regards to kind of moving from, you might say, shifting from crisis over to confidence. And he, he, this particular one, he speaks of the topic of a circumstance or vision. And he takes us through that then transitional stage from a circumstance to, to a vision there. So I think you'll, you'll, you'll very much uh, enjoy that. I want to thank you for your time. I want to thank you financial professionals for your, your business and confidence that you have in financial markets. As I say, we are here for your life. And let me leave you for today with this and enjoy the, the, uh, the video. Blessed are those who ease the pain of misfortune, for they shall be called insurance agents. Take care. Hello everybody, Dr. Elko again. I have tried to give you this language we've been talking about 
and I've been giving you these different ways that you talk to yourself and mindset. Set your mind, keep it set. And one of the things I want to talk about is another phrase that I use. It's something that's to help set me. Ready? You live in vision or you live in circumstance. Think about this phrase. You live in vision or you live in circumstance. What actually does that mean? Let's think for a second. What is the circumstance of today? Market going crazy. People walking around scared of the virus. That's the circumstance. That's what we have. And you could sit in circumstance forever and it becomes immobilizing. Vision is something totally different. Vision is, I have a vision of how we're coming out of this circumstance and what helps this rise us up. So everybody, when they do their life, all you have to do is really listen to people talk. And there's a phrase, out of bunch of the heart to mouth speaks, just listen to people talk. And when they listen, when you listen to them talk, ask yourself, from what I heard, was that vision or was it circumstance? They say that small people talk about people. The average person talks about events, circumstance. Great people talk about ideas. And when we practice thinking about ideas, we start to get a vision. And there's an old ancient phrase, without a vision, the people perish. Without a vision here, we will perish. So often I say to myself, Kevin, you either live in vision or you live in circumstance. So now let's go into you. Don't listen to other people talk, just that. Think about what you think about. Think about that. Think about what you think about. When you hear you thinking, are you talking about the circumstance or the vision? And are you practicing it over and over and over? You live in vision or you live in circumstance? Everybody say that. So let's do two stories here. They're putting a golf course in India. 1920. Little issue. Monkeys. And they learn something about monkeys. They love golf balls. <laughs> they didn't know that. They just found that out after they built the golf course. Have you ever done something and didn't know this circumstance was coming? But here it is. Don't talk about what happened after you got married. Incidentally, let, let me say something. <laughs> On this, you live in vision, you live in circumstance. Because this will help you. Is anybody, raise your hand, are you single? Anybody here single? Okay, I, I got something for you. The, person you. the person you beautiful ladies will date will not be the person you married. You'll date their representative. <laughs> Just keep that in mind, because you know, you said, I didn't know that that's who I married. Yeah, I, I, this, we're done dating. <laughs> so, then you have to get, realize we've got a new circumstance, you need a vision. So, monkeys love golf balls. I want you to get this vision for a second. You hit a ball down the fairway. You tell your friend, hey, look at my shot. You both look, a monkey jumps out of the tree, runs, grabs your golf ball, throws it, and runs away. <laughs> so then, they got together. And they're kind of in denial. So they put a big wall around the golf course. It's kind of stupid, isn't it? Monkeys climb. Whose idea? Start again. So then they go back and say, let's hire people to drive the monkeys away. More monkeys come back. You know, monkeys got together and say, hey, man, there's golf balls over there. Let's go. That's us. Finally, they figured it out. They put about a thousand signs all over the golf course. Play the ball wherever the monkey drops it. I don't know where the monkey is going to drop the golf ball today. But the monkeys are on the golf course. Am I right or wrong? Anybody with me on this? Or is it just monkeys on my golf course? I want you to tell people, there's monkeys on your golf course. It isn't the issue with the monkey. It's once the monkey drops the ball, now you have to get a vision. Where do I play the ball now? What do I do? And you might even say, well, I didn't put the ball there to begin with. That's not the issue. It comes down now to play the ball where the monkey drops it. 
So you live in vision or you live in circumstance. Can I add something to this? This one is really getting radical. Can I get radical with you today? I add something to you live in vision, you live in circumstance. Nothing seems to bother me anymore because in, on June 5th, 2017, they carried me out of my house in an the ambulance. They carried me out of a house in an ambulance. And they took me to Cleveland Clinic and told me I missed dying by two minutes. You missed dying by two minutes and now Cleveland Clinic says you got 40 years to go, you're fine. You'll be surprised what doesn't bother you after that. You'd be shocked what doesn't bother you after that. So I go to Cleveland Clinic and they go, if you do these changes, which I'm doing, you're going to be fine. Watch this. That didn't happen to me. That happened for me. I'm the kind of guy that says everything happens for me. When something happens, go to you and say, here's a circumstance. Now, how that happened for me? Can I show you exactly how that happened for me? There was a, this is a Philadelphia story. There was a baseball pitcher for the New York Mets. Tug McGraw came up with the phrase, you got to believe. They trade him to the Phillies, ask him in Philadelphia, what do you like better, AstroTurf or grass? I don't know. He said, I never smoked AstroTurf. <laughs> Be careful. It's hard times out there. That baseball pitcher passed away. He's buried close to here in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. His son's a country western singer. A song came over his desk. goes, that's my dad. He recorded it was a song of the year about a guy who had a bad x-ray, went to his friends, it's over. What you do, you realize, I went skydiving, I went Rocky Mountain climbing, I went 2.7 seconds on a bull named Fu Manchu. I loved deeper, I spoke sweeter, I gave forgiveness, I've been denying. Hope you get the chance to love like you're dying. Look, two things. Live in vision and live full no matter what. Live full. Own it. So when something comes, what's my vision here? Play the ball where the monkey drops it. What's my vision? Not the circumstance. What do I do with this? Not what happened. What do I do with this? And believe this. I don't know how yet, but sooner or later we'll find out this happened for me. I want you to walk around and say this to yourself. Ready? I'm going to live in vision. I'm going to quit paying attention to circumstance. And the next one I want you to keep saying to yourself is this one. Ready? This happened for me. I don't know how. I'll figure it out. But this happened for me. Tell somebody beside you right now, this happened for you. Come on, tell me it happened for you. And tell them, you live in vision or you live in circumstance. Come on, tell them. So we're going to live in vision. Tell them again, we're going to live in vision. And let's come back and just say, no matter what happens, I stayed in vision. Didn't I tell you that'd be a good one to see? It is. He's, he's very, very good. And I, I will preface this. It, when he was speaking there, it was at the very, very early stages of, of the virus. So you're going to see people that will say, well, how come they're so close in regards to this video? That's, that's some of the reason there. But man, some very, very powerful power points there and powerful phrases Bring those phrases part of the let it become part a part of you. Again, thanks. We'll see you again.